this edition. I'm going to talk about Hector Lombard uh, after his performance at UFC 149 against Tim Boach. Now, obviously, um, Hector Lombard was defeated by Tim Boach via split decision, and it, this this fight was not anything any of us were expecting. Uh, this is a fight that was most definitely going to be considered fight of the night, given the two fighters' styles, uh, how they bring the fight to each other, the power that they have, and the outstanding grappling. However, this fight did not pan out the way any of us thought it would. Um, it, it was incredibly disappointing. Uh, Tim Boach pretty much sat on the outside, outpointed uh, Lombard with his leg kicks. And there's people that also felt that Hector Lombard won the fight, myself included. I don't think it was by a large margin, but... Um, I thought Hector Lombard won the fight. A very lackluster decision, to be quite honest. Um, and, uh, you know, Boch, Boch did his outside leg kicks. He couldn't use his uh, grappling because of Lombard's uh, speed explosiveness. And uh, Lombard, really, and people have been questioning, oh, Lombard didn't do this, this, and that. Lombard was fighting his game, game plan to tee technically what it looked like. And it was, I personally, it was a bad game plan. He's fought like this in the past, though. Counter-striking. It's exactly what he was doing. He was counter-striking. He was never, I mean, hardly ever the pursuer yesterday in the fight. Every time Boach came in, Lombard answered with a couple flurries. Any time Boach came in, he threw Boach away. And then he did secure the takedown, a couple takedowns. So it makes you question uh, what the decision was. But that, that's ne not neither here nor there. I'm not here to argue the decision, okay? Tim Boach won. Uh, quite frankly, I think it was a bad win and an even worse loss. Uh, it could have gone either way. If Hector Lombard won, it's a bad win. If Boach lost... Uh, it was a bad loss. Either way, it was not a good fight for either fighter, and I don't think either fighter will be getting that next title shot. There's no way. Uh, quite frankly, I think Tim Boach will, uh, you know, what will make sense, go on face uh, Vitor Belfort, or a fighter with uh, also very good strike. He'd see what he can do. He's defeat, defeat Belfort, maybe. Uh, Hector Lombard, I mean, what I said this to the fight, it looked like he was trying, he was fighting uh, so he could fight Mark Munoz next. Like he was, he's made that very, uh, everybody very aware that he wanted to not face Aaron Silva, but fight Mark Munoz next because Mark Munoz had some bad things to say about him and his hype. Well, like Dana White said about Lombard is that, uh, you know, when you come out and fight like that, you, your hype goes away very quickly. Uh, quite frankly, I'm not going to judge Hector Lombard uh, on one fight. Uh, give granted it's his UFC debut. I'm not going to talk about jitters and UFC debut and all that other stuff. Like, I, I just personally, it was not not a good game plan, not a good night of fighting for him. Uh, I still think he's a good fighter. Uh, is he the next uh, champion in the middleweight division? That's a reach, to say the least, given his performance last night. But um, I still think Hector Lombard is a talented fighter. I mean, he got thrown on. He, I mean, there's a lot of hypes around the guy. He got thrown under the bus very quick. I mean, Dana White did say it right, is that, you know, if you fight like that, your hype goes away very quickly. Now people say dropping the 170. Um, it's an option, but uh, I, I don't think there was any point where weight was uh, severely an issue yesterday. I know Hector Lombard tends to gas out in later rounds. Didn't really look like that yesterday because he wasn't really working enough considering the counter-striking, but... You know, it was never a problem. He was never out-muscled yesterday. His technique was crisp. Every time uh, Boach tried to take him down, he either got right back up. And, I mean, he threw Boach down to the ground. He picked the guy up over his shoulder and threw him down the ground. Size was never a factor. It was really just more the fact that he was very tentative yesterday. Uh, he, he was very tentative with his game plan. He was focused on the counter-strike. It was never the fact that he was uh, out-muscled or uh, outmanned in that fight. It was simply the fact, I mean, you, I mean, look at uh, Hector Lombard's corner. I mean, I... What the hell? I mean, what were they saying to the guy? It's time to get it going. There's got to be a sense of urgency at some point of the fight. You cannot just sit back, especially in a fight where the judges actually viewed that it was a close fight. So uh, what I'm trying to say is, is that I think Hector Lombard should most definitely stay around the middleweight division. Obviously, Walter White is an option, uh, given his speed, his size, his grappling, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He could definitely be a very good option uh, down at Walter White. But he still most definitely can be competitive in the middleweight division. I'm not going to judge the guy on one performance in the UFC. Okay, uh, plenty of guys have had bad debuts in the UFC and going on to do good things. Okay, given whether they're healthy or not, but I mean, still, guys have had bad debuts in the UFC and going on to do well. So, um, I'm, I'm I'm not gonna say I'm drinking the Kool Aid still, but I still think Hector Lombard is a talented fighter. So where he goes from there, I, I think a fight that most definitely makes sense uh, for Hector Lombard following this uh, is I mean, Mark Munoz makes sense. They're both coming off of losses. These guys are both considered top contenders in the middleweight division. Obviously, uh, Munoz was defeated by Weidman. Uh, Lombard was defeated by Boch. Let Munoz and uh, Lombard fight each other. Uh, you got wrestler, uh, good striking, and uh, Mark Munoz, and you got Hector Lombard. I mean, pretty balanced mixed martial arts. But uh, I, I think uh, Lombard needs to come out uh, a little bit more aggressive. I mean, the guy has the chin to do so. Got to go for broke at some point, uh, and there was no urgency yesterday. But uh, 
to throw the guy immediately under the bus. I still think Hector Lombard has some good days in the UFC. I don't think that he's such a bad fighter. I mean, Grant, he has not been fighting the best of talent, but uh, I still think he's got a bright future in the UFC. I'm not saying he's going to be a champion, but people throwing him under the bus yesterday. Yeah, Grant, it was a terrible fight. Not a fight that we were expecting. Not fight of the night. Not even remote, remotely entertaining. Uh, you can't even say that it was a technical fight, but... I'm not going to say that he's not a talented fighter. I still think he's got some good fighting left. Uh, but, you know, as regards to top contender in middleweight division, he's uh, technically not at the way end of the list, but he's not at the top anymore. So I think uh, Mark Munoz versus Hector Lombard makes the most sense. I I'd like to see him in a couple of more fights. Then we could start uh, throwing the gun to the bus and saying the hype isn't real and all that other stuff. So people are very quick to jump the gun, uh, as well as Dana White. But I think a little bit more upset as the car as a whole, not to mention that fight. Definitely let down the car. People, I mean, this this was the fight that people were really banking on to be the fight um, that would get fight of the night and that would put on the best show. So uh, not throwing Lombard under the bus just yet. Uh, won't do that. Uh, still talented. Uh, we'll see what he does in his next couple of fights. And that's what I have for this edition. It's Kyle Delaney, signing off. I'm out of here.